answer the question at parabolic and umbilic points for two parameter families of surface. Okay, thanks for introducing me, Federico, and uh, I would like to thank the organizers for accepting my work, for the opportunity, for great par parties, so nice parties, and uh, also I need to say Feliz Cumpleanos. This photo was in workshop in Brazil, in São Carlos, in 2012. It's the first time I meet you, because this, also I am in this photo, but I only want to focus on you, of course, okay? Switch yeah, the switch is there, <laughs> and your, your leg heavy masaki, <laughs> okay? Let's go, let's talk about my presentations, okay? So, uh, this work, is one continuation of the, our work classification of jet of surface in projective through space via central projection. This works, we, we classify the germs of a surface given by for Monge form, and uh, we classify one parameter families of surface and two parameter families of surface, but using projective transformations, okay? So, one consequence of this paper, we talk about binary differential equations about this classification, exactly in at parabolic and umbilical points for two parameter families of surface. Okay? Here, more specifically, we try um, try present some examples of parabolic and flat nodal curves and study the bifurcation of that guys for two parameter families of surface. This work is with Yutaro Kabata, but Yutaro is not here, and Toru Omoto, okay? Toru Omoto da Okada University, Yutaro agora, oh, sorry. <laughs> Yutaro was in, is in Kobe University, Toromoto in Hokkaido University, okay? And so, for explain a little bit about the first work, we using a key singularities of central projection of surface to classify it, the monge forms of given by of the surface by projective transformations, okay? There, using the singularities of central projection, it's possible we classify the monge form of the surface, okay? So, but interesting things happen in, in, sorry, interesting things happen here when the viewpoint of the central projections on asymptotic lines. So, it's possible we study asymptotic lines using binary differential equations. Okay, don't work. Yes, using asymptotic BDE, okay? Look, the asymptotic BDE is, is given by this equation and using the normal form of the surface, okay? But our idea in this paper now is using the, our class, the normal forms in the first work, and we association asymptotic BDE, okay? Because we use the normal forms in the first work for we have some asymptotic BDE association of the F, okay? So, but we use for this, the results of Farid, Davdov, and uh, Blues Fletcher, Tari, so many actors for classifying our normal forms corresponding to topological BDE. But here we use it only at parabolic and the umbilic points because in that case, more important things happen, okay? So, but also we would like to study the flat nodal curve. But flat nodal curve 
is given by from inflections of the asymptotic curves. So, topological BDE, we lost information about inflections. Okay? Now, we use, we need to use another approach. Now, we need to take transversal families of the, the our classification, the first work. After that, we use some criteria the, uh, did from Kentaro Saji for uh, criteria for looking for flat nodal points. And it's possible you will draw some examples of the flat nodal curves in these transversal families. Okay? And use, of course, the results of Farid. Farid uses the transversal families here, association uh, BDE. It's possible we draw the parabolic curve also in the same works of Farid. For that, we present some explicit examples of bifurcation diagram of parabolic and flat nodal curve for two parameter families of surface. Okay? Let's go. Um, we divided this presentation in four steps. First, we give some notations about binary differential equations. After that, we associate association the binary differential equation. For short, I, I, I say only BDE, okay? And um, association of families of surface in P3. After that, we presented the transversal families of the surface classified in the first work. We presented the transversal family of these guys. And in the final, we present some examples of bifurcation diagrams, the parabolic curve and the flat nodal curve for two parameter families. Okay? Here we print some examples, but so interesting. Okay? Now, um, binary differential equation, we have this relation, okay? And we have delta, delta is b squared minus, minus a times c. If delta is positive, we have two foliations, which are transversal to the, each others. And if we, this delta is zero, we have the discriminant curve. And we know in the discriminant curve, the integral lines, we have cusps. Okay? So having so many results about classification of germs of BDE or families of the BDE, I sit here some Dara, Davdov, Sibrario, Bruce, Tari, Fletcher, and then others. And for instance, only some results about this. Uh, if ABC is not vanishing the orange, in the, some works call this BDE the type 1, but here we don't say the difference about this. Okay? Here we say only BDE. And uh, in the works of Sibrario, if the unique direction is transversal, the, the discriminant, then the BDE is equivalent to this normal form. Equivalent here is possible is topological, is smoothly, and the former. Okay? Um, in Davidov works in 1985, uh, if the unique direction is tangent to the discriminant, we have this. Uh, the BDE is smoothly equivalent to this guy. We have this normal form where lambda is different of 0 and 1 over 16. And that point, have one, one name is the folded singularity. If it's possible, you classify this point topologically using the values of the lambda. Okay? We have a saddle if it's lambda negative. This lambda is between 0 and 1 over 16 in one node, or one focus if this lambda is greater than 1 over 16. For BDE classification, the BDE code dimension 1, code dimension 2, and one, one parameter families of the BDE, two parameter families of the BDE, 
we have the topological classification these guys and that works okay no now only this is only some comments about binary differential equation now association these results with the surface in p3 okay now we consider one, our surface given by the Monge form we know it's possible to divide the, the surface in three regions elliptic parabolic curve and hyperbolic and we know have uh, two asymptotic directions elliptic region one asymptotic direction parabolic region also it's possible to divide the oblique points umbilic points on the surface that any tangent line is asymptotic and in that guys here in hyperbolic this is in the parabolic we have one field of the part of directions oh the integral lines these guys we have the asymptotic curves okay we have stopped curves here but it's possible association these guys with solution of this bde okay and this bde is correspond we need the normal form of the surface yeah, of course here we know that the discriminant curve of this BDE is equal parabolic curve. Okay? So, in first work, we classified by projective transformation these normal forms. Okay? And these normal forms is important in this BDE. So, let's take each class we classified here and the association or correspond the asymptotic BDE here. Okay? In this work, I don't present uh, something about the first work, okay, about classification. Because you Taro in, in afternoon talk about this in his presentation in afternoon, okay? And I don't talk about this and for projections here. Here we have the our classification for normal form F. Okay? Let me explain this table. Here, these results here is Didi from Platanova or Landis. Okay? And the study of the contact surface with the lines, the tangent lines. And here we put the table only in the parabolic points and umbilic points. Umbilic points happens here. And here, okay? And this table on the parabolic and the umbilic. In the first part of the table, the, this case is generic. After that, it's no more generic, but this classification, this part of the table, is for one parameter family of surface, okay? And here, two parameter family of surface. So now, for each class we take here, let's Let's go see which guy correspond asymptotic BD. Okay, for the red color I put here, that guy using some criteria of classification of the BD, it's possible association these guys at this normal form where the direction is transversal to the parabolic curve. Okay? And go back to the table and take the normal forms in the blue color, that guy here is one cusp of Gauss, okay? And the asymptotic BD association, these guys who have this normal form, classified by Davidov, and the lambda here depend of alpha, okay? So, alpha here, is different of zero. If alpha is zero, we have this normal form. This means we have codimension my higher codimension now. But in this case, look, our lambda, if, is, if this guy is zero, this lambda is negative. If this lambda is negative, we have one saddle. Okay? If this term is zero, don't change nothing in our asymptotic BDE, okay? 
And now go back here in the alpha. Alpha is equal 1 over 4. This lambda is 0. We have more degenerate case of the BDE. We have the BDE equal dimension 1. So if it, that guy is 1 over 4, we have this normal form. Okay? Let's now association this class the normal form for asymptotic BDE. So for these guys, I put the color red here. And if you will take this normal form, PV1, it's possible this, this guy is topologically equivalent, a non versa with three transition with no more step one. We have this normal form classified by Bruce, Fletcher, and Tari. So here, if we consider this normal form, look, the Hyck function, that guy has one singularity A3, and the parabolic curve has singularity Morse. Okay? In another case, we have these guys look by the Heinck functions. We have A4 singularities, and that guy is topologically equivalent to the folded set node type classified by Bruce Tariff. And Davidov comments about this also. And we have this normal form. Okay? And uh, in that case, the um, parabolic curve is smooth. And the, another case, this case is umbilical case. This normal form is day for singularity, and that guy is topologically equivalent uh, bifurcation, the star, this normal form, if it's plus, and d minus if this guy is one saddle. Okay? Now, we eliminate all the, the, the class, rest only more for class. Two parameter families of surface. Let's go to association these guys for BDE. So, in the first case, that guy also is one A3 singularity. That guy is topologically equivalent to the cusp type classified by Farid, and uh, have this normal form. Here, the parabolic curve have one cusp. Okay? More degenerate here, V3, is topologically equivalent to no transversal Morse type, also classified in Farid. We have this normal form. Here, the parabolic curve has Morse singularity. Another case, we have A5 singularities, is topologically equivalent a photodegenerate elementary type. Here, the parabolic curve is smooth also. We have this condition. This condition here, I forgot to say, is from the expansion of Taylor of the F. Okay? And in this case, it's more re remarkable because the asymptotic BD associa association, this guy, is topologically equivalent to one cusp type 2, classified by Oliver. But this normal form don't have codimension 2 BD, but has codimension 3. So, our, uh, while our degenerate flat umbilical class, this generically appear in two parameter families of surface, its asymptotic BDE is not equivalent to any type of BDE of codimension 2 with classified in Farid, but is equivalent to this normal form this have codimension 3 in space of the BDE. Here is the first question in my presentation. We don't know the geometric meaning this. Okay? We don't know is the first question about this. I don't know we have this gap of the codimension. In the accounts, okay, have this, but the geometric meaning, we don't know. Okay? So, but now, we did this, we would like to study some examples of uh, bifurcation diagrams of at parabolic curves and flat nodal curves. So, for this we need another approach. And also, we need to define the flat nodal points or flat nodal curve. So, 
flat nodal curve consists of the hyperbolic points at which one asymptotic line has more than three point contact with the surface. Okay? These guys, we have the flat nodal curve. But if you study, study the equivalent relation of the BDE, that guy preserved the discriminant, but lost information about inflection of the integral curves. Then, the theory of general BDE is really useful for analyzing parabolic curves, but not for flat nodal curves at all. Okay? So, we need another approach. For one parameter families of surface, the study of the bifurcation diagram parabolic curves and flat nodal curves is did by Uribe Vargas, and we present all the bifurcation diagrams of these guys. Okay? But now, how to obtain some examples of the bifurcation diagram for two parameter families of surface? Okay? One idea is Faridi already studied the bifurcation of the parabolic curve. Okay? In the BDE results. But if for flat nodal curves, the approach here, now we need to study transversal families of the our class classified in the first work. And after that, we put some criteria of recognize, recognition criteria of the flex nodal points. In the pictures of Farid works, we draw the flex nodal curve there. But this is only examples. Okay? Ah, transversal for, for us, meaning the Monge Taylor map of here, defined like that, you P in, on the surface and T send to the Q jet of the F. F is the S parameter family. The transversals means the Monge Taylor map is transversal to the strata of the it class we classify in the first work. For it, strata is given by in our first work. Okay? So this one or two parameter families induce one family of the Monge Taylor map transversal to the strata. Okay? So we have this table at parabolic and umbilical points. The transversal families associate IH normal forms. Okay? Now we would like association also these normal forms and um, BDE, for example, in this case, for one parameter families of the BDE. I'm sorry, is this normal forms? Is there some final jets or are to repeat? Jets. Yes. yes. What's your question? My question is if you write the normal form, uh, afterwards, uh, some, just for some final jet, this is normal form. Or for, for whom? Uh, uh, last word. <laughs> uh, you have a map. Yes. A family of maps. And this is normal form, the primary normal form. It is just for final jet, say for 5J or something like that. Yes, yes, it took this jet. And to this jet, like in our classification, you will classify jet by jet, only that projective transformation, okay? So, yes, this transversal, we, we don't know, we, can, we can't say about is versal or not, okay? We don't have one, one study for versal, transversal here. But in these normal forms, in that sense of the the transversality. Using these normal forms, it's possible we association the one parameter BDE and use some criteria of Tari, Bruce Fletcher Tari, and Bruce Tari. It's possible we association these guys for versal families of the BDE. Use the criteria of Tari, except for this case, because this case here we have only two parameters and the BD association, this guy have codimension three. Of course, this guy is not versal. So let's go to draw 
our Fleck nodal curves in the pictures of Farid. But for this, we need the, Fleck, the recognition problem. One Fleck nodal point is characterized as the point at which the central projection along the asymptotic line is of type swallowtail or worse. Okay? This is, have some criteria about this. It's did, from, it's did by Kentaro Saji. If we consider the projection along the y-x, we have two parameter deformations like that. And if we consider lambda is the determinant of the differential of f and eta, the vector field, the origin which expand kernel the differential where lambda is equal to zero, parabolic curve is given by for these three equations and flex nodal curve in these three equations. Okay? Here we have in the size work, but also it's possible to see this in Kabata's works 2016. So let's go for the codimension one cases. Okay? Here we confirm the bifurcations of parabolic curve and the flex nodal curve by direct computations using family of the Monge forms in our transversal classification. For example, in the first, in the, this case, we have Fleck nodal curve have these parameterizations and parabolic curves like that, and we have the same results C and Uribe Vargas. Okay, here we have the phenomenal eight, the Fleck nodal have eight, we have the transitions, the Morse type, Morse, type, Morse elliptic here, hyperbolic, and again, key appear elliptic, okay? In the same works, we lost two points here, two saddles here, these transitions, and here, the umbilical case, same things happens also in the works of Uribe. Now, let's go to draw some examples in codimension two, okay, bifurcation diagrams using our transversal classification. So, parabolic curve, Farid also did this. Okay, now we put some new branches in these pictures of Farid. Here, in that case we have a, a A3 singularity. This picture is did from Farid, and we have the cusp type of the parabolic curve. We get obtain the Fleck nodal curve have one cusp here, and we have these draws of the Fleck nodal curves here. Up here the figure eight here and here. The new branch is here in the number seven. We have the tangent, self-tangent of the Fleck nodal curve. For this normal, normal form here, up here, I don't put in this work because I have in the first work, because this phenomenon happens in hyperbolic region, okay? Same thing is happening in this, only change the sign -off. Here, I explain more details. In that case, let me first here, we have more singularities of parabolic, and the Fleck nodal have one cusp. 5 to cusp. Okay. And um, in, we have in this branch two happens the the class of classified we we have the class DD from Uribe Vargas. We have the transitions of the Morse type here, and happens some phenomena. We lost this point. We have this in the strata four. After that, happens some thick in hyperbolic region. The Fleck nodal curve have this phenomenon, also classifying the first work, and continue this. Again, we have in eight. The same phenomenon in two, but in opposite case, we have more transitions of parabolic, and appear the number eight here for Fleck nodal curve. Appear 
these guys disconnect here, another phenomenon happens in hyperbolic region and disconnect this point after we lost this point, okay, in 12, and again we lost this point again and go to two type, okay? And this is also easy to analyze. For umbilic case, for codimension 2, is more remarkable because in this case, the bifurcation, the, this example of the bifurcation is new. We don't use more the results of Farid. So we take the our normal form, we obtain the parabolic curve, also, it's possible we obtain the flat nodal curve, but the expression is so big, I don't put here in slides. But analyze the strata, the singularities of the parabolic, we have one cusp. And analyze this, we have this branch, t equals zero, we have the umbilic case, the codimension one. In this parabola, we have this case, the parabolic curve have more type. Okay, and we have this picture. Here in the origin, the parabolic curve have one cusp, the flat nodal curve have one cusp, and two branches smoothly cross in this point. Okay, so in the, the three branch here, the branch three have one self intersection of the flat nodal curve. After that, we go the branch four. The parabolic have the transition of um, Morse transitions until six. Six, we have one star umbilic case, and go goes here. And between seven and eight, we need one self intersection of flat nodal curve. But appear two branches. In that case. And continue here now. That guy is one saddle. The parabolic have one saddle. And continue until this guy. This guy, we have two cusps here. And we lost this guy, two cusp of Gauss, for two until three. Oh, th and 12 until 13. Okay? And for 13 until two, we have a self-intersection of the flat nodal curve. We have two branches about this also. Okay? In the case minus, it's similar, but more simple. Okay? And this. Okay? It's on the reference. Thank you. And Feliz Cumpleaños. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because it does not account the resonance case. You wrote that always when they have touches, generic touches. It has this normal form, that is not so. Because okay. the resonance case was classified here, with the asterosalis, and it has another normal form. Okay. Uh, the second one uh, said, uh, relates in the uh, all elementary single points, not only several. Okay. And so, and you mark that it's just topological normal form obtained by Farid. Okay, uh, yes, Farid, Farid is topological normal form. But it, it, it is a smooth normal form. Mm, okay. No questions? Yeah. Just to complete the information in the part where there is a bifurcation to the flat nodal curve, and you can put the limit the volume of the A. Uh, okay. Here? <laughs> ah, okay. One parameter. Ah, one parameter. Yes, for instance, the first one. Okay. Uh, in, the, in the right, you have the set 
intersection of the spectral curve. Yes. Uh, at this point, that it has an analog in the elliptic domain. Okay. Which will be the first intersection of complex conjugate spectral curves, but it becomes a real point. Yes. So in the left part should be a special point, yeah. elliptic node, which is the analog. Yes, yes. Uh, so in these points, happens the bifurcation. Ah, I see. If you have this bifurcation, you need this special point in the elliptic domain. Okay. And then one more thing is that if you take in space time the picture, you start with an elliptic point, special. Okay. Then the morning of the day will bring a uh, with the new brother. Ah, really? And this uh, intersection is a intersection with the new brother. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the handle of the new brother is made by the special elliptic point. Ah, I see. So in all these cases, in the elliptic domain, was an elliptic point. So an elliptic point of this special kind is replaced by the intersection of the federal curve. Okay. Happen in these forms, okay. In the place where people who are either analytic special point or as an intersection of the spectral curve. Okay. This is the first uh, of the complete. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> and in the four cases, we got in the space time uh, with the over in these four cases. I see. Uh, and the next thing is that uh, it should be a distinction in the in the spectral curve, you have two branches. Ye yes, yes, I don't, I don't put in this approach, only we have together okay. branches. The other right. Yes. This is very important because you have set intersections which are stable. Yes. But if you don't take it account this, you have other set intersections which are not stable. Ah, okay. They are stable when you are left and right. But if you have set intersection of right and right, it's not stable. Ah, I see. Destroy the set intersection. I see. So, I'm um, sort of looking the future cannot distinguish why sometimes it's stable and why sometimes it's not stable. Okay, <laughs> this is important, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's stable only when they are different Okay. When it's the same time, always unstable. So, it's just, uh, so it's important to distinguish. Okay. okay. Thanks. <laughs> After that, I think, any other comments?